Hey guys, and welcome to, I guess, my first product review. Now, uh, this is my third time trying to record it, and I actually, I've opened this. I'll show you what it is. It is my new mouse, the uh, Cyborg Rat 9 Mad Cats. And uh, I've actually been using this for two days now, and uh, I ended up losing the footage. So I packed her all up back in this nice little box. Might not be as neat as uh, it once was. And some of the plastic isn't on it, but I can assure you, Everything is all there, and I know how to use it, and uh, get ready, because here's my first product review. Okay guys, let's get right into it. So, here's the box. It comes in a very sleek, nice box. Uh, on the front, it has some uh, some something or some things that uh, people say about it, like um, examiner.com, um, Engadget, uh, and a couple other stuff, rating it 5 out of 5 stars. And just on the front here, you got what it looks like, obviously, right there. And then some other stuff on the bottom. But what I find cool is you got the back here, which tells you all about it. And uh, and then you can also, which I didn't even know at the time, you can flip this open. And you get a, uh, a full-on look at what exactly it is. And you get like what it comes with and stuff. And actually, I can turn on this light quickly. Just so, hopefully... It doesn't help it very much. I don't have very good lighting in here. So, uh, no, let's get into it. You got this outer case here, so you just lift that up and slide it off. Super nice and easy. And uh, there is some plastic. A couple there. Oops, a couple there on the bottom, and I think right on the top here. But, like I said, I've been using this for two days, so I already cut it off. So, obviously, it's right there. You got little, nice little handles on the side. Slide that off. And uh, right away, you can see there's the top, there's just some foam in there and stuff. So right away you see uh, a little advertisement for a game. I don't know if it's backwards for you guys. If it is, there's nothing I can do about it. And then there's this. That looks backwards. Maybe not. It looks It's backwards to me. I don't know if it'll be backwards to you guys. Um, technical support and warranty information. The manual itself installation stuff we'll go over that after and then you got foam so it looks just like that so obviously we go like this and we're gonna pop off this piece slide it to the side and now you got this so in here I'm actually gonna if I can I'm gonna pop this yeah here we go I'm gonna pop this foam out there's nothing in the bottom I just want to give you guys the best view um so you got this here so the first thing that we're gonna do so we're going to take this out. Now this is your uh, your charger. So it's got like a probably a four and a half long cord, or four and a half foot long cord, maybe more. Not bad, it's perfect. And if you can see it, it is actually a fiber uh, cable, which is really cool. And uh, so we'll set that right there for now. And it's nice because it, it has uh, little friction pads on the bottom. So it doesn't move around very good. Like, it won't slide around if something bumps it. Like, if I flick it, it doesn't slide. It just stays there. So, the next thing that we're going to get into is this thing right here. Now, normally there'll be weights. When you first open it up, there'll be a few weights in this, because this is your weight system tray, um, or whatever you want to call it. But I already have all my weights in my mouse, so there's nothing in here right now. But it just slides in right like that, and it stays in there. So, it is beautiful. Um... Now the second thing, actually, yeah, we'll go over here. So, you got these that are sitting in there. Slide this out of the way. Uh, we'll move this down a little bit. Yeah. So, oh, I got stuff everywhere. So, you got uh, your different replacement stuff, re replacement parts. So, this is obviously one of the palm rests. It's got a nice little uh, nice little uh, design on it, and it's kind of it's stickier than the other ones. Well, not sticky, but it's more it's grippier than the other ones, than just a flat black, like this one. But I like this one. I don't know what the difference is between this one and the one that's on there. They look the exact same, and they are both, yeah, they're the same size. So that one and this one. So those are the two palm rests. Here are the two pinky rests. So this is for the uh, the pinkies. Like, obviously you got your left mouse button and right mouse button, and then these two fingers here. It's where you put them. Now, this one obviously still ha has that exact same sticky um, design on it as the uh, as this. If you guys can see it. Um, but I have, I've actually been using this one, and I popped this off just for the point of the demonstration. But it's awesome. 
So I'll show you a quick little view of it, just like this. It slides in like that, and then just like that, and then you put your finger and your thing on there, and it doesn't drag on the ground. It sits there like this, and it's got a little glide pad on the bottom. You guys can see uh, nothing else does because nothing else drives on the on, on the ground. Sorry. So this is nice because it slides very low friction on this. So we'll set these aside. Uh, we'll get into the batteries. So it comes with two batteries, and they look almost like magazines. They're kind of cool. Um, so we'll bring back this thing, and this is your charge pad also. So you see, you got the top here, and one corner is rounded right there. So it easily fits in everything. So this corner is obviously rounded. So that pops in there, and then listen, it clicks. So then you know it's charging, and you have a red light. Excuse me. Yeah, you have a red light right there. And when it turns green, you know it's charged. And then you have on this light or on this side, it's a red light, and that shows you. Uh, it's like a little connection thing, and it shows you that if you're connected or not. So we got this battery. It's nice. They're cool. Um, so let's get into the actual mouse. So here it is, and. Let's get this out. Just like that. Uh, that's gonna fall, that's gonna fall. Um, okay, so here's the actual mouse. I'll give you a quick look at it. Side view, so that's where the pinky rest will be. And then this side, got buttons and stuff. I'll, I'll go over what everything is after. And then the bottom. Um, see, there's my weights in there. There's a little screw, I'll show you what that does. There's the bottom of the scroll wheel. Um, there's your laser system, or there's the, the optic system right there, and then there's your on and off switch. So, um, I'll, I'll give you guys a, a sample of what all of the clicks sound like, just so you guys know. And I really love the click. They're, they're a crisp, high-pitched um, click, and they're very clean sounding. So, right mouse button. So, left mouse button. I might as well put this on the ground, actually. And then, center scroll wheel. Very quiet, very crisp. Um, this button, I'll show you what that does, and then this button here, where is it, right there, nice and crisp, and I've got kids screaming in my back, in the background, sorry, and then you got for, like, web browsing and stuff, you got forward and backwards, and then this red button, and then thumb scroll wheel, so, quiet, so beautiful, it's nice and quiet. And then especially because I record and stuff, so if I have a mouse over here and I start and I get in a fight and spam click, it's very quiet, extremely quiet, and it's beautiful. So this button right here controls your DPI setting, which is dots per inch. So it means if you slide this uh, your mouse well, one inch in real life, how many dots or pixels it'll move on your computer screen. So that's completely customizable, and right here, when I turn it on, there's a little red LED lights so that'll show you which one you're on, because there's four different settings. Um, and then this button is the same thing, it switches your, sorry, switches your modes, and it's also different colors and stuff. So, um, I'll get into that a little bit when I do the computer portion, uh, with the software and stuff. So, here's your weight system, in the back there, this little screw here, you unscrew this one. So that sits like this, and then you unscrew this. Um, this little screw here, and then soon as this, I gotta kind of hold it because soon as this comes off, the spring wants to jump out on it. There we go. So the spring jumps out, and then I won't take them all off, but I have, um, I have six. There's five, there's six, and six. So there's six of these little weights, and they slide right onto this little bar here. So I like a really heavy mouse, so that's why I have all six on there right now. So, and then you just put the spring on, and then you put this little uh, washer looking thing on, slide this tight, and there you go. Ah, oh, I pinched my finger. <laughs> and it's, see, it's all metal parts on the bottom, so it, it's nice and sturdy. Um, so, what this is used for, if you can see it, it, it's actually a little, you might not be able to see it, but it's a little, like, oh, I think that's a hexagon or something, and it's used for this. You see here, so if I go ahead, and if you want to move this, um, this forward and backwards, you loosen this screw in here. There's a screw right, if I can get it right there. So there's that screw and you loosen it up and that loosens up this little bar here. You see that little bar right there. And then you take this and you turn, you put it in like this. You can't really see. And then you turn it and it moves this forward and this forward and back. Which I have it all the way forward right now because I have big hands. So when I'm, so obviously when I'm like this, I can, that's my normal, before it was back here so I'd have to hit it like this. But now it's nice, forward, back, Red button. Perfect. 
So, and then also, I couldn't figure out how to get the palm rest off. It says that you're supposed to click this in and slide it out, but I tried and I don't want to break it. And I'm just going to leave it because I'm not changing it out anyway. And then same thing, there's a little screw right... I'm, I'm always in the light, I always lean over. <laughs> um, there's a screw right there. And you unscrew this, unscrew it, and then you can put the other uh, pinky rest on there. So, I'll let you guys do that, if you guys do buy it. And, uh, so that just, that slides on the end of this, right, like that. And it's locked. Give it a little tighten, don't over-tighten it. So, what this red, I bet you're all wondering what this red button does. What it does is when you, when you hold it, it lowers your DPI to a certain, to a set amount that you control. Um, so that you can be a lot more accurate. Say you're taking a sniper shot or stuff like that. You can go like this and then you hit that thing and it makes it a lot more accurate and slows down. So you get those precise long shots, which I love. I love sniping shots. Um, so that's pretty much it for this portion of the thing. I'm going to, or actually I'll plug this in because right now it won't fire up because I don't have this plugged in right now. So uh, I'll plug this in and then I'll be right back to show you guys what all the lights and stuff do. Okay guys, I've got it all plugged in and stuff now and I'm making sure I'm backing up all my footage so I don't lose it because this is where I lost it last time. So right here, right there, right? This little switch here, you see there's a zero and a one. So you pull it to the one and then all of a sudden it turns on. Oh, and I and I forgot how to show you guys I forgot to show you guys how the battery works. So I'm just gonna power this off right at okay, right for a sec. So there's the battery, and then you see there's a little empty slot right there. So obviously you line it up, and you pop it in, actually just like a magazine on a gun. So that goes in, and then clicks a few times, and then you know it's in there. So, and then you obviously power it on, and it's good. So as you can see, right on the side there, there's, uh, it's, it's two right now, one, two, three, four, five. So those are the DPI settings that you can ha uh, have it set to. So one, two, three, four. And you can have it whatever. So if you want it to be like super fast for like gaming or something, you have it on four. If you want it super slow, you can have it on one or you can have it on three. Whatever you want. Totally customizable. Um, and that's pretty much it. So if you go on this side, you can see this button here. So if I click it, it's red, it's blue, and it's purple. So this, just, this is to uh, show you guys all the different modes that you can have. So you can bind these um, these keys here, and then this one here to do completely different things. I'm, I guess I should no, yeah. I'm probably doing stuff on my on my uh, computer that I don't know. I have my screens off. I'm gonna click stuff. Um, so you can have it set to like if, you, if you're doing Photoshop, this can be left and right. This one can be like back and forward and stuff or whatever, like undo and then redo. Or if you're gaming, primary, secondary, grenade stuff like that, or or uh, primary and like me uh, melee or something whatever you have it set to um, and there's three different modes for it so again red oops red blue purple so that's pretty much it for this portion now let's head over to the computer and I'll show you guys all about the, uh, the software okay hey guys and welcome to the I guess software portion of this uh, unboxing and review so this is the profile editor. As you can see, Rat9, welcome to the Mad Cat Smart Technology. With Smart Technology, you have the power to make sure that every command you need is right where you need it on the controller. Boom. So right there, it just kind of says, uh, I don't know, random stuff, Mac software update, we hover over again. I think it's just all update stuff, or get your freak, uh, frequently, asked, frequently asked questions on. That's funny. Uh, get your freak on. Um, so right here, if you go to the settings tab, we're in the product tab, this is settings, and this is where you control all your DPI. So you notice I had four, uh, I had four red, you know, lights on my mouse. Uh, one, two, th like, you know, what I, you guys know what I mean. So here's the same thing. One, two, three, four. So number one here, I have, you know, set at about probably 16, 1600 uh, DPI, uh, 34, 3500. Um, no, excuse me, um, probably 42 and a half. <laughs> and this one is at right at 6,400 DPI. So obviously, and you can test it out. See, so this one's really, this one is set at uh, about 16 or 1,700. Uh, yeah, 16 or 1,700. So it's a lot slower. I hit this one and it gets a little bit more. This one's a little bit even more. And then this one is the max and it is super touchy. Like, 
I can flick the thing and it's across the room or it's across the screen. So we'll go back to this one because I play on number two right now. I find it most comfortable and I'm going to start working my way up. I eventually I want to get to 60. Oh, somehow it went all the somehow. Oh, see how touchy it is. There it is. Um, like that. Okay. Perfect. I w eventually I want to get all the way to 6,400. Like that's crazy. That's pretty sensitive. I keep going by everything. So hit two, and this is with the uh, the red dot thing, the uh, the laser precision thing. So when I hit it, it goes from here to slows right down, as you guys can see. Big swooping motion, and it slows right down. I didn't change the speed or nothing. So, and then here, obviously, 1% will only slow it down. 1%, 50% uh, percent will slow it down half. I have it set at 81 right now, because I just like the feel of that. And 100% will stop it. So that's basically it here. As you can see, there's the lights. I didn't realize that. So let's go into programming. I don't quite get this one yet, but you can you can kind of move the mouse around like this. It's kind of cool. It, you know, it's kind of cool. So um, this is where you customize all of your um, all of your hotkeys and stuff. So and there's stuff that you can download from their website. Go open such as Action Profiles, CS5, which is like Photoshop and stuff. Uh, first person shooter, MMO, RPG, software and strategy and stuff. So you guys can you download them and then play that play uh, excuse me and place them in <laughs> my tongue just like swelled up. Um, maybe not. But uh, you place them in that folder and it gives you kind of all hotkey. So I can open up and I'll go first person shooter and battlefield three. So now my center mouse button, that's uh, melee. Gadget one is the red mouse button. Secondary um, is my forward here. Throw grenade is my back. Primary is uh, with my thumb scroll wheel. And gadget two is my scroll wheel the other way. So, and then mode two is different. Or no, they seem to be all the same this time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess with this a little bit and then we'll see. So test, if we test it, I think another screen should pop up. Yeah, right here. And then you can, yeah, you can try stuff. So. We'll clear and then go all scroll wheel up. That's what it says. Most wheel up, down, left, right, back. You know, you know how it is. Stuff like that. So that's basically it. And it comes with three colors, obviously red, blue, and purple. And then that's pretty much it for this. Uh, this activate profile. Uh, I don't exactly know how to use this yet. Here's the battery up there. And there's another thing that you can download which you, I'll bring it over here, and you place it right at, right here. And you place it at the corner of your screen, and it shows you your battery life. So that's yeah, really cool. I really like that. I hope that was in the shot. might have been halfway in the shot. I don't know. It's the first time using this recording stuff to capture my screen. And then there's the support. So show startup tips on this page. Download drivers and software. Download game profiles. Uh, read programming manual. And contact us. So that's basically it. Um, so my next thing is I'll, and I'm, uh, excuse me, I'm going to hop into f probably Minecraft and, uh, I'll show you guys a little bit, um, some PVP and stuff with it. Okay. Thanks guys.